Good evening and welcome to the seventh evening of our Novena to St. Joseph, which we begin as always with the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The word shadow used here is a deliberately ambiguous one. In one sense, Joseph was for Jesus, the earthly shadow of the heavenly father, watching over him and protecting him. In the other, Joseph fulfill, fulfilled the role of any good parent, introducing their child to life and reality. He gradually withdrew into the shadows, giving Jesus the freedom to mature and to grow into his full potential. Joseph's earthly temporary fatherhood of Jesus was simply a sign pointing to a greater permanent fatherhood, God's heavenly fatherhood. Saint Joseph teaches how to care for little ones and nurture their growth. Let us pray. Saint Joseph, you are the faithful protector and intercessor of all who love and venerate you. You know that I have confidence in you and that after Jesus and Mary, I come to you as an example for holiness, for you are especially close to God. Therefore, I humbly commend myself with all who are dear to me and all that belong to me to your intercession. I beg of you by your love for Jesus and Mary, not to abandon me during life and to assist me at the hour of my death. From Matthew's Gospel. Now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt and remain there until I tell you, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. And he rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed to Egypt and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Out of Egypt I called my son. But when Herod died, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Rise, take the child and his mother and go back to the land of Israel for those who sought the child's life are dead. So he rose and took the child and his mother and went to the land of Israel. And now we pray the litany of St. Joseph. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Illustrious Son of David, 
Pray for us. Light of patriarchs. Pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God. Pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God. Pray for us. Watchful defender of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph most just. Pray for us. Joseph most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph most valiant. Pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of workers. Pray for us. Glory of home life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Solace of the afflicted. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of Holy Church. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He made Joseph the Lord of his household. And prince over all his possessions. Novena Prayer. Glorious St. Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, pray for me to have a pure, humble, charitable mind and perfect resignation to the divine will. Be my guide, my father, and my model through life, that I may die as you did in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Loving St. Joseph, faithful follower of Jesus Christ, I raise my heart to you to implore your prayerful intercession in obtaining from the divine heart of Jesus all the graces necessary for my spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death, and the special grace, the special intention that I now implore. Guardian of the Word incarnate, I feel confident that your prayers on my behalf will be graciously heard before the throne of God. St. Joseph, most just, pray for us. Amen. Memorare to St. Joseph. Remember, O most chaste spouse of the Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who implored your help and sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you and beg your protection. Despise not, O guardian of the Redeemer, my humble supplication, but in your bounty, hear and answer me. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen.